Welcome back to Inbox Frustrated User Guide. You're watching Episode 2, Clock Problems. Ever wonder why your inbox always starts up to the wrong time? On a PC, it usually means that the CMOS battery is dead. Desktop computers have clock batteries like these. Laptops also use coin batteries, generally wrapped in plastic. And wristwatches have tiny clock batteries like these. Can't tell you how many of those I've changed. So, expecting to find a dead battery, I took my box apart to find out what size it took. And here's what I found. Mboxes don't have clock batteries. There's not even a battery holder on the printed circuit board. You'd think that the time would be maintained so long as you kept the AC adapter plugged in. But it's not. Just seconds after power off, the inbox clock reverts to a date fixed in firmware. My MXQ model M201D always starts up at 7 o'clock on Thursday, January 1st, 1970. My Mikul M8S Pro always starts up at 7 o'clock on Wednesday, December 31st, 2014. So, what's the logic behind this? Why don't inboxes have clock batteries? As designed, inbox system clocks are supposed to sync with network time. The routine that allows it to do that is in firmware. On generic MXQ, M201D models with this build, like mine, that routine doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Even on boxes like this branded Mikul M8S Pro, where the time sync routine does work, streaming apps still malfunction when network time is wrong. That happens at least twice a year at our house, on days when we switch back and forth from standard time to daylight saving time. Network time devices like inboxes set their clocks according to the device directly above it in the network chain. In my case, that device is a Pixlink repeater, which by default gets internet time directly from a U.S. Navy time server at 192.5.41.41. See, according to ntp.org, 192.5.41.41 is the Navy. But how often does it synchronize? Once a day? Once a week? Given the uncertain schedule, it could take hours for a repeater to recognize daylight saving time. Until it does, streaming apps are going to malfunction. Streaming apps also malfunction when you launch them before the system clock shows correct time. On some boxes, this could take a minute or two. You have to be patient, watch the clock, and wait for it to show correct time. Now you can stream. Why is that? In most client server situations, the client clock has to be within five minutes of the server clock in order to connect. The inbox is a client. When its clock disagrees with a streaming server's clock by much more than that, you can't stream anything. To prove the point, I'll turn off network provided time on one of my branded M8S Pro boxes. Unlike my generic MXQ, everything just works on the Mikul M8S Pro, including Screen Recorder APK. Watch what happens to Pluto TV when the system clock is wrong. Spinning circles. Endless spinning circles. Note the time. It's 7.05, December 31st, 2014. We are five minutes past power on. So let's try Haystack TV. Sorry. We are unable to connect you to Haystack TV. Note the time. It's 7.07, .07, December 31st, 2014. We're now seven minutes past power on. 
And here's what happens with Tubi TV. Spinning circle. Note the time again. It's 7-12, December 31st, 2014. Bear in mind that while network time works perfectly on my MeCool M8S Pro, provided it's turned on in settings, network time never works on my MXQ Model M201D, no matter how often I've selected it. Even on branded MXQ Pro 4K boxes, like this one, where the network time routine does work, many people complain that their clocks drift, run either fast or slow. They end up having to reset their system clocks manually each and every time they power on the box, and it's very frustrating. Everything about MXQ is frustrating. Thankfully, we can easily solve the MXQ time problem with a free app called ClockSync version 1.2.6 from developer Sergey Badanov. Get it right from the Google Play Store. Install it as you would any other app. Instead of network provided time, ClockSync uses internet time. It launches automatically on startup and synchronizes your system clock to a public time server that you specify. So which server should you specify? Pool.ntp.org is a good international choice, or you could choose from the list of regional NTP servers shown here. US residents could also choose from this list of NIST servers. It's a good idea to keep both lists handy because NTP time servers have been known to go down. When they do, you simply change to one that's still working. That's where the list comes in handy. Once configured, ClockSync maintains accurate time to within thousandths of a second. Here, we see that my MXQ system clock lost 51 minutes just since this morning while sleeping. No worries, within a minute of waking up, Clock sync automatically corrects the time. No manual intervention is necessary. What a relief! Without this app, I'd have given up on my MXQ Mbox long ago. It's frustratingly unusable without it. So now we know of two secret conditions that must be met in order to stream online video successfully. One, we need at least 10 megabits per second download speed at the MBOX location. Any less than that, and you'll either need to run a wire or add a repeater. And two, we need a system clock that actually keeps time. If yours doesn't, you'll need developer Sergey Baranov's Clock Sync app. Having met those two requirements, we're ready to stream. All we need now are some good working apps, and I'll cover that next time on Mbox Frustrated User Guide. Thanks for watching.